Um, I would like to go through the presentation uh, for the next 30 minutes. So a warm welcome from my side here. My name is Dietrich. I'm the product manager for Nougat Asset Preparation. I would like to inform you in the next 30 minutes about the new products, what we have developed during the last months. So generally it's um, about um, our high throughput instruments um, which allow um, a really massive extraction numbers per day, month, or week, or whatever you're looking for. Um, generally, the reason why we have developed the system is very easy. We have observed the market and uh, we've seen that there are quite a lot of uh, common robotic platforms available already. Um, for example, the Kingfisher instruments, TCAN, Hamilton's, and all the others. And um, normally, these kind of robotic platforms have just one ninety-six magnetic device. That means that you can just extract 96 samples and not more. Um, and as there's really a, um, yeah, that uh, the sample numbers for plant breeders are growing steadily and more and more and more, um, we thought that it is maybe a good idea to offer a platform which allows you a higher throughput than the common robotic platforms which are available. And therefore, oops, we've developed the Octopure. Um, and you will see the system. So if you compare the Octopure to the common robotic platforms, um, you see that the throughput per hour is much higher. So the Octopure can extract about 800 samples per hour and with common robotic platforms, maybe one to 200 um, extractions per hour. So that was the reason why we've developed the Octopure. It's a combination, not only for medium throughput, but also for our speedix chemistry, which we're offering already since 2007. Um, I will come to this later on um, to tell you a little bit about the chemistry itself and the benefits and the differences to our competitive um, chemistry which are available on the market. Um, and so we thought we are building a system which is really able to combine not only the, the use of SpeedX but also with the medium throughput and reusing consumables. And these three aspects are then driving the throughput for plant extractions further than ever before. And that was really the big background of developing this platform. So first of all, as I already said, I would like to talk a little bit about the SpeedX um, chemistry. The SpeedX chemistry is established since 2007. Um, and the unique thing of this technology is um, that it has a two-step binding mechanism. Um, that means if you compare it to our comparators, um, where you have just one step um, as for binding, you are having a complete different technology. And the binding technology of SpeedX is completely different to our competition. This two-stack binding mechanism allows you then the pure water, the, yeah, the use of pure water for the final wash step. That is a big difference. Normally, the final wash step is done or is, is done with um, ethanol-based uh, solutions. And then you have to evaporate and you need a drying step afterwards. And here with the SpeedX, can use pure water for the final wash step, so you can proceed directly from the last wash step to the illusion. So no drying is necessary anymore. That means that you have some time savings, you're not needing to dry anymore, and you're saving some time as well. And this is then, again, increasing the throughput. Generally, we're offering the SpeedX um, chemistry in two formats, the mini and the maxi format. So the chemistry, the technology, all is the same. Um, the only difference is the volumes of the reaction, so you can use the mini format for 20 to 30 milligram of leaves or seed material, and the maxi format for 80 to 100 milligrams of um, leaves and seed material. Just to check. Okay. Good. So whenever there's a question, please interrupt me, um, or I will show you and give you my contact details at the end of the presentation. You can always contact me and ask me questions and so on. So again, the difference is just the starting material. Um, 20 to 30 milligrams of leaves um, for the mini, 80 to 100 milligrams of leaves and seeds for the maxi format. And as already said, no, it's not going on. Now it's going on. Um, as already said, um, there is this two-stick binding mechanism, and here you can see what does it mean in the end. First of all, you have to lyse your cells. Uh, you're having um, free DNA swimming around in, this, in the lysis buffer. Um, and then you can see this bead, which is shown here, this blue dot. And you can see that the, that the DNA, which is looking like a noodle here, is bound to the bead itself. Um, 
it's a polarity based mechanism um, and then you're washing normally with ethanol and salt based uh, or an ethanol or salt based buffer and the second step um, the second bind step is then done via uh, a so-called adapter so this Y looking like uh, structure here is an adapter it is another um, binding mechanism if you compare it to this one here and this binding mechanism is then used to bind highly specific DNA um, so no other biomolecules like sugars or proteins are bound it's just DNA which is bound here and therefore after the final washing with pure water we are achieving much higher yields and also a higher grade of purity in comparison to our competition. And that is the main benefit of Speedex in general, that we have this two-step binding mechanism using this adapter here, this Y looking like adapter, and therefore we are giving a better grade um, of quality and quantity. But nevertheless, um, the chemistry we are offering already to, since 2007, the Octopure, we have just launched last, last month. Um, so the reason why we have developed this instrument uh, have I already explained. Here we have some pictures about the instrument. You will get a better one at the end of the complete presentation. What you can see here already is are the magnets. Generally, the Octopure has eight magnetic devices. As I've already said, the common robotic platforms which are available right now have just one. The Octopu has eight, and that's the reason why we are able to increase the throughput. Um, so these magnets can be lifted up and down. You, you can see them on this picture here. You can see it uh, in the uplifted position, but these magnets are really going up and down uh, whenever you, you have to use a magnet for fixing the beads in the bottom of the vial. This magnet is uh, yeah, lifted up, otherwise it's in the down position. Um, also what you can see here is a little bit of the deck, but you're getting a better overview soon with the next slides. Um, I just would like to tell you a little bit about the general procedure of an extraction of Dr. Pure. First of all, like all um, plant extraction robotic platforms, you are having an offline lysis of the plant cells. That means that you have still to grind your cells and spin down the cell to be offline of the system. So this can't be integrated and automated on the platform. So this has to be done before you're going on the Octopure. But if you have done that, uh, um, then you can go directly on the Octopure. That means you're just putting your lysis plate in the, on the Octopure deck. And then the, robotic, uh, the robot of the Octopure is transferring 100 or 200 microliter of supernatant to the processing uh, um, position. And this is this gray box here, the magnet and processing position. And here the complete uh, extraction process is happening, including the binding, including the washing. And at the end of the whole thing, you just have to transfer the ready-to-go DNA to a new plate, which is normally a PCR plate. And this PCR plate can, gen, can just um, can they just um, used for further experiments and for other applications like genotyping, sequencing, or whatever you're looking for. So again, what is important? This is a liquid handling platform. You're just transferring liquids from plate to plate, and you're not moving the plate itself and you're also not moving any magnetic particles from plate to plate. So it's a liquid handling platform um, which is really transferring liquids from plate to plate from these three positions what you have here. That is what the Octopure is. And then as I already said there are eight magnetic positions or magnetic devices on the deck. Um, these are all marked with M. Here is M1, M2, M3, M4. So these are the positions where the extraction process itself is occurring. And here you have then the lysis positions, L1 to L8. And here are the elution positions. So here are the positions where you're taking out the, the plates after the final after, yeah, after the final elution step. And these are then the plates which you can take for further experiments. So eight magnetic devices and the, the big benefit and the and what is responsible for this throughput in the end is that you can do this in parallel. That means you are not starting with L1 to ME1 to the end and then doing the next one. No, in the time where you're incubating, where you're um, waiting for other extractions, you are filling then the other, the other magnetic devices. Therefore, you have really an in parallel extraction and not um, like a row in all of uh, yeah. Uh, one each after each other. So this is really in a parallel and that is really pushing up the throughput so much. For sure we have also other positions on the deck. 
we have here the buffer reservoirs where the buffers are stored and where the, where the head is going and uh, picking up the liquids to transport them to the magnetic and processing positions. And the second thing is we have here the tips. And uh, for each buffer, which, uh, which is shown here, we have one set of tip. And for each uh, processing site, we also have one set of tips, uh, which is always transported from here to here. And um, after the removal of the liquids, then the head is transporting the, head, uh, the tips back to its position. So therefore, we are not having any cross-contaminations. And the second great thing is we can reuse these tips for the run itself, but also by our washing strategy, which I will present in the next slides, also for further things. And this is the second big benefit of the OctaPure. It is not just a high throughput system, it is also reducing costs for, um, for tips and consumables um, in a new dimension. And this is uh, really pushing and reducing the cost to up to 50%. So again, these tips here, these T1 position tips, are just for the M1. Uh, processing site um, transported back and if the robot is then having a look for the samples here which are at M2 it is just using this T2 position tips for example then the M7 position would only be the T7 tips and that is um, really so the the robot is never in a in a slow mood it's always active it's always doing something transporting tips transporting liquids removing things and so on and so on um, and this in parallel extraction then causing for the throughput. Additionally, we have a wash station here, um, and I will come to this later on. It's just important that you remember that the wash station is on the deck, because this wash station is crucial for our wash strategy, so that you are able to remove, you reuse the tips all the time. But first of all, just a few numbers and facts to the throughput. Um, it is, yeah, it is a medium throughput machine. I mean, throughput is always a little bit relative, but if you're having a look on the numbers, you can process eight times 96 um, um, samples in one to one and a half hours for the Speedix mini extractions, and eight 96 plates uh, in two and a half hours for the Speedix maxi extractions. The only reason why the maxi extractions took a little bit longer is the volume, the reaction volume, or the extraction volumes. In the end, the robotic head is equipped with, uh, with 200 microliter tips and therefore the head must go several times to the extractions to fill the right volumes. So that is the only reason why the maxi extractions are needing a little bit more time in comparison to the mini extractions. So, in total, this is really a combination of medium throughput and high quality. And that is quite important, as you remember maybe my first slide. We are really looking for a system which is offering not only a higher throughput, but still a very high quality DNA extraction. So for sure there are other technologies available like crude lysis, that we can go directly after the lysis, but we are really looking for high quality DNA, which you can use for different kind of applications like next generation sequencing. So all applications which is really yeah, dependent on uh, very high quality DNA um, is, um, can be used with OptiCAM. What I've already said, the second big benefit of the OctaPure is not just the throughput, it is also the cost for the consumables. And here we have developed a washing program, and this washing program is needed because um, just to avoid cross combinations between the wilds. So generally, this washing program um, contains two steps. The first step is during the run. So we have seen that we have an integrated wash station on the deck. And you can see here at the picture downstairs that you are having um, this kind of cylinders which are filled here with pure water. Just have to check. Okay. Sorry. Um, with pure water. So, but to say this clear, these cylinders are never touched during the extraction process itself. Because if you're touching the tips or anything here with this water, it would automatically be contaminated and therefore we cannot avoid any cross contamination anymore. So therefore, this kind of wash station which is integrated is just used as a sink during the run. So um, here we are just bringing the liquids which are not used anymore and put them into the waste. And therefore, we need this wash station. 
Um, so again, we are never attaching any liquids. We are just bringing the old liquids to this to the sink and uh, are removing them there. Um, and we have done some cross contamination studies in general after the second step of the washing run, which which are really an evidence that we have no cross contamination. We have tested our CASP technology for genotyping and. Um, Right now we are writing an application node which is hopefully ready to go at the end of the week and if you're interested in this data in a little bit more detail then I will send and uh, send you this app node soon. Okay, the second step, oh, just a second. The second step of the washing program is outside of the system. So the first step is on the deck. You've seen the washing station in the right corner. The second step is outside of the system and therefore the robot is filling the, the tips, the used tips in a box which is here on the right side. It's the so-called washing box. And this box is then filled uh, in, uh, with, a, with a washing solution which is called bleach. It is a cleaning solution which is really removing and killing DNA. Therefore every kind of DNA is really destroyed and um, is not playing any role for any cross contaminations anymore. It's quite important that you're using this kind of washing um, solution um, and that uh, it is um, has the right chemical components. So this is really a crucial role. What you're doing, you're incubating your tips uh, into this cleaning solution for 20 minutes um, and then you're taking out this metal thing here and put this tips and the middle thing in a sonicator. Washing the tips again for a few minutes um, and then the tips can be removed immediately so you maybe have to invest maybe 15-20 minutes for for um, eight set of tips and before you can reuse them. So you don't have to invest too much time. It's a very fast and efficient procedure and this is exactly why you're saving so much money in the end. The only thing uh, why the integrated wash station on the deck is important, you are using the cylinders which are filled with water and washing the tips one time before we are using, using, you are using them again for the next extraction uh, round. That is the reason why the wash station is on the deck, uh, not only as a sink but you are using it also as a wash station before you are starting the next run. So again we have tested this, there are no cross contaminations uh, detectable. Um, and therefore, there's a second big benefit. It's not just the throughput, it's also um, the costs in total. Um, so costs are always relative. Right now, we are calculating and estimating that we are saving costs um, about 50%. The reason is because we are reusing our tips. We have tested this. You can reuse them 30 to 40 times in total. There is um, no differences in the performance. Um, after 30 to 40 times we are recommending to use, uh, to not to use them anymore simply because the reason because the tips are um, then not usable because the head is not, cannot pick them up anymore efficiently. So there might be a risk that tips are dropping down and are blocking anything. So um, it's just a technical or a plastic reason why you can't use them any, any even not more than 40 times. But therefore you have costs only for the plates um, and as depending on the throughput, depending on your discount you're getting with the suppliers, depending on a lot of things, um, you can calculate about 5 um, euro cents per extraction. If you compare this cost with costs for other liquid handling systems like Ticket and Hamilton, so normally you can buy this tips just from these guys, so you have no other second supplier which is maybe a little bit cheaper, you have to buy them from Tikkun and Hamilton, therefore the price is automatically a little bit higher. You're also needing more and then you're not reusing the tips, you throw them away directly after, um, after one time and for sure you're needing also more plates um, because you can see that we have just one processing plate for Tikkun and Hamilton, so we have more processing plates normally because the liquid handling system is transporting um, the beads or liquids to the next plates. If you compare this also with the Kingfisher system, so here as mentioned the Biosprint Kingfisher is uh, equivalent to Biosprint and also the ABI one. Here we have costs of about maybe $20. Um, this is about probably 20 euro cents per extraction. 
The reason is you are needing five to six plates, which you also can just buy from Temple Fisher. These are special Kingfisher plates, which you cannot buy from someone else. And the second thing is you're needing a comp, uh, which is protecting the magnetic rods, which you're using for this magnetic particle handler um, um, against the, the buffers and, and the salts and so on. So you're needing this comp as well as, um, as tips, because someone has to fill the plates as well. So this magnetic particle handler, the Biosprint or the Kingfisher is not able to, to fill the plates by itself. Someone has to do that and therefore you're needing tips for it. So here we are also calculating with maybe about 20 to 25 euro cents depending on the throughput and discount and so on. Nevertheless, um, if you have a look here, the Octopure is just able to process about um, 800 samples um, per hour. Uh, for the mini format and um, we realized that this throughput might not be um, efficient enough for uh, plant breeders who are having because the number of samples which they are breeding per year is really growing and growing and growing and therefore there is an option to buy a second Dr. Pure but sometimes the breeders are not needing this high quality DNA um, and therefore we have developed a second robotic platform based on our replicator platform, which we are offering already since two or three years. Mm, and uh, as we had already an uh, extraction technology called ClearGene, we thought that it is also maybe reasonable to develop a system of a um, gene spin robot, which is a replica replicator platform in the end. Um, but this replicator platform is able to fill ClearGene plates. And uh, this is the second robot we have developed uh, in the last month. So, um, these clear gene plates um, are typical column-based extractions. You can use it for plant and tissue samples. The big thing why you have here an even higher throughput in comparison to Dr. Pure is that you can use not only 96 filter plates, but also filter plates with 384 in the 384 format. And as you can really process four times more filter plates, you're reaching a much higher throughput in comparison to the Dr. Pure SpeedX system. As it is a column-based extraction, you're following the normal protocol. We don't have this two-step binding mechanism. You're following that you're first lysing your cells, but then you're binding your DNA to a matrix in a column. You have several wash steps which are following. You're drying this, or you have to dry this kind of silica matrixes to evaporate the ethanol we are using for the final wash step. And finally, you're looting um, the DNA in, in a vial. Sample material, 100 nanogram to 10 microgram sample material, this is a normal thing, um, depending again on the filter plate you're using, depending also on certain other things, what kind of sample material you have. Um, generally, the clear jeans plates are not as good for scalability, in terms of scalability, as the speedic things. This is a big benefit of the magnetic beads in general, that magnetic beads-based extractions can be upscaled and downscaled. But also, ClearGene is offering a certain grade of flexibility. So um, this is, but this is a little bit better in terms of mega beats. What is important in terms of SpeedX and OctoPure, we are talking about a fully automated uh, extraction platform, and here we have a semi-automated platform. That means that someone has to take out the the filter plates after they are loaded with the buffers by the gene spin and have to bring the plates to a centrifuge to spin down the liquid through the membrane you're doing, you're using. And that is the big benefit, or the big, big difference again. Octopure is a fully automated platform. ClearGene is a semi-automated platform. Therefore, you're needing someone who's doing still a little bit of work. Um, it is already widely used in our own laboratories, especially, especially for small volume plant samples and to bring the gene spin function or what this on one sentence, it's the replicator for column filling. This is the deck, what you can see here. Oops. In the end, it's less complex at the Octopure. You have these processing positions um, on the deck and you have the buffer reservoirs on the left. You also have a wash station for cleaning the tips. You're just needing one set of tip for all the plates, which is uh, a big benefit for the gene spin because you are, have even less costs as the Octopure for consumables. Um, but the complexity is, if you compare it to the Octopure, also less. So what's about the throughput for the gene spin? Um, 
It is the 384 and 96 format. There's a typo, I'm sorry for that. Um, so you can drive eight 96 plates in one hour for the PNG 96 format. And as there are no, really no differences, if you're processing 96 plates or 384 plates, um, you can also use the clear gene format in one hour here as well. And therefore, we are saying that here we have a combination of really high throughput and a very good DNA quality. If you remember the first of the slide before, um, we are saying the Speedex Octopure team is really providing a high quality DNA. The gene spin system and the clear gene system is providing um, definitely a very good quality DNA, which you can use for most applications, but not for all. But you will see this later. Most important thing to decide which platform you're, you're maybe interested in um, is, in the end, the throughput here. Um, this is a crucial point. And you can see the Speedex Maxi and the Octopure per day. It's about 3,000 samples. If you compare this with uh, the, the, the clear gene, gene spin, team in the 384 format here you are having about 50 to 20,000 samples. Um, so the decision is not only depending on the throughput but also on DNA yields what you're looking for, uh, on speed, how many people you have in the lab who can do a job for you or not. Um, so generally these are just standard protocols. So it's also possible maybe to shorten protocols so that you can increase the throughput. But just for comparison reasons we have we are comparing here the standard protocols um, and you can see really 50 to 20,000 samples per day are really possible. Uh, additionally, you can use for the gene spin clear gene multi-drop instruments which are then even increasing the throughput if this is not enough already. Um, as normally there are breeding cycles and our customers are having a lot of samples within a short time period and not distributed over the complete year. Here you have some samples uh, which are um, over the month. So um, for the Maxi format, that means for the Speedex Maxi 80 to 100 milligrams of starting material, you are having about 66,000 extractions per month, assuming that a month has 22 working days. If you're working at the weekend, it's even higher for sure. Um, if you have a look for the 96 format, so the Clear Gene in Speedex Mini on Dr. Pure, uh, it's comparable, you have about 120,000 extractions per month. And if you then again going to the clear gene 384, you have minimum of 350,000 samples per month. It might be even more if you are having uh, additional equipment in the lab. As already said, the Octopure Speedex is, is uh, offering uh, higher DNA quality in the end. So here we are um, have tested different kind of downstream applications already. So Octopure Speedex is not only good for PCR-based technologies and subgenotyping, but also for sequencing applications. And we are also using this uh, Octopure um, for RNA extractions, but this is something we still have to validate. So um, if you're interested in RNA extraction, this might be possible, but uh, there we have to discuss also your project a little bit more in detail, what you really want, what kind of time you have, what plant material or other material you have and then we can decide how to proceed. But generally, as bignet beads are binding both nucleic acid types, um, so RNA and DNA, it might be possible to use the Octopure also for RNA extraction. The gene spin, as we already find, and positioning uh, position the product is good for PCR-based technologies, microarrays, cell and bloods, um, and also might be good for Sanger sequencing, but that's something um, which we have never tested, so I cannot give a go for that here. So, as I already said, the Octopure low costs for consumables, high throughput, rep, uh, and um, the but what is what we have to say here? It has no replicator functions. So you might think it is a liquid handling system, so it might be used also for other other things. No, you can just pipe it from the 96 to the 96 um, format. It has no replicator functions, and, but if you look for the gene spin, it has a certain grade of replicator functions, so it, it can um, also go from 96, for example, to 384. And also, if you're choosing a gene spin robot with 384 head, you have even other options here. This is still also um, under validation. There are certain options available in the future as well, but uh, not now. Some technical data, it's a very small system, 
the footprint is really it's fitting on every lab bench what what you are having um, so it's, it's really not needing a lot of space to install the octopure as well as the gene spin both have the same size as they are both based on our replicator platform there are um, available or different heads available the 96 only for the octopure the 96 well head or a 384 well head for the gene spin system additional equipment what you're needing is a centrifuge um, for spinning down the cell debris and also um, for the gene spin you're needing not only a centrifuge for the cell debris but also to spin down the liquid through the filter plate um, and technical equipment that is very important for the octopi you're needing air pressure this is because of um, the tips when they're removed to the tip positions then the, the head is really pushing them down with air pressure so you're needing six bar um, for the gene spin you don't need any air pressure but unfortunately, you cannot use any vacuum filtration station for this robot till now. Um, the reason is that the kitchen plates are not fitting well in this vacuum filtration and therefore you cannot uh, have a fully automated solution for the gene spin robot. But in protocols, uh, this is always growing and growing growing. Um, we have um, validated protocols for a broad um, range of species already. Uh, this is really, if there's any anything missing that's not a problem uh, I've just listed up the things which we have done here which we're doing really routinely here um, for example we also have um, uh, sugar cane and stuff like that so that's also the problem generally there are, I have to say that there are some certain species which are not uh, possible on on the gene spin this is just because of the extraction technology so that that's really up to your, your project and your protocol. Um, so, But I will uh, tell you a little bit about this later. Generally, we are offering, therefore, a lot of preset protocols already. Um, normally, 90% of all um, sample, made, um, sample materials can be extracted with the standard protocol, but we are always able to optimize this kind of protocols in terms of incubation times, uh, maybe also washing volumes or lysis volumes, the lysis buffers or lysis conditions are uh, very important in general, so you can play around with that. So there is a certain grade uh, in for flexibility um, for the gene spin or for the collagen plates. It is a little bit less for the Speedex system. There's really a high grade of flexibility. In tested materials, leaves, seeds, floor, roots, all kind of processed plants, whatever you can imagine. But also, um, but we have also kit systems for blood and tissue but uh, these cannot be automated on Dr. Peter now. Generally, we're offering pilot studies. If you have anything new, anything what, uh, what might be improved, maybe something which is not running absolutely 100% great, but just maybe performing to 90%, we can still improve everything. So and here we're offering pilot studies to develop your tailor-made protocol based on our extraction chemistries. That is our special service, which we're offering in general. If you have anything um, where you think uh, this might be reasonable for you, um, please always contact us and we uh, look at what we can do for you. Generally, some uh, uh, at least one of the last slides already, project timeline, first of all, and that's the reason what we have learned over the last 10, 20 years already, that every project is different and therefore we would like to define the project specifications at the beginning. That means that we are really saying, hey, what kind of DNA call here you're needing, what quantity you're needing, extraction speed, what, is, what else is interesting for you and what is important for you. Um, and then we are looking and you can decide which kind of technology and robot we are recommending. We can also go then to the pilot study. That means that we are developing uh, the protocol here in-house for you. Uh, we would then send you the protocol, the DNA for testing and also test kit so that you can repeat this protocol, what we have developed here in-house and then transfer the established protocols on Dr. Pure. Um, and then in the end, all the gene spin, you're getting an instrument where uh, you have already preset extraction protocols on the robot. So there's not a lot of time needed for implementation or development in, on your site. You can normally start already after two or three days. So to summary, let's summarize this up. Um, throughput Octopure is more a medium throughput instrument. Gene spin is a high throughput instrument. Quality, Octopure, high quality, you can use the DNA for all applications. Gene spin, good and sufficient quality for most of the applications. Replicator functions are limited in terms of the Octopure. There are more replicator functions for the gene spin. Consumable costs, about five cents per extraction for the Octopure Speedex team. 
for the gene spin it's less, it's probably about two or three cents per extraction. Uh, in sample matrices, high flexibility is really given for the Speedex Octopure, good flexibility for the gene spin clear gene. Uh, pilot studies are always possible. Um, and with that, I would like to thank you very much. Here you can see some pictures of the instrument. They are looking really similar somehow. So you have this um, this robotic head, which is looking uh, the same. You can see here see on the right the gene spin positions for the pro for the loading of the buffers. Uh, here is a good picture of the wash station in the back, which is used for um, so that you can reuse the tips. Mm, here are the buffer positions. And, but as both systems are uh, really based on the replicator platform, um, this is um, this is um, uh, yeah looking similar or comparable. So, um, but uh, these instruments are both existing and uh, doing their job. Generally, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me using my email. Um, address please always never hesitate to ask any questions um, and uh, I'm looking forward um, to to talk to you maybe after the after the webinar um, and again I would like to thank you very much for your attention uh, have a nice day I hope that this kind of webinar was a little bit informative for you and uh, hope to talk to you soon about this uh, robotic platforms thank you very much and have a good day